with her pack now full of office supplies, duct tape, and everything else that she would need to put together a makeshift welder. Dusk and Elliot shall be returning to their farmstead. There is still much work to be done before they'll have their vehicle working well. But while they've been searching, that vehicle has also been charging. It may have enough to get home, and if not, then they will just wait. They can be patient. And now with this office tower cleared, the closest town to them is safer than ever. But that's only what they can see with their eyes, as there are always other threats lingering. Some beneath their feet, and some between the very atoms that they breathe. But pushing existential fear aside, Dusk attempts to focus and get to work. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope. Where it doesn't look like we're going to be dealing with sunlight for that much longer. It's five, and you know, the sun doesn't really set until around about seven or eight, I believe. I also think this is the bottom floor. Yes, yes it is. Elliot is with us. Right, okay, so we're going to be heading out the front of this place here, and we are going to swing past the vehicle along the way back home. Now, it only got to here, really not far at all, but we're going to be carrying everything back home, regardless of whether or not we can actually bring that home yet. It's going to be easier to work on creating this welder down there, and there is always a chance that we may just end up failing uh, <laughs> dramatically. We've got a lot more duct tape now though, so I'm feeling better about that. Where I'm a little bit unsure of, or what I'm unsure of, is whether we are actually going to have everything we need to be able to repair vehicles and whatnot, because that's going to be the easiest way for us to get our mechanics that little bit higher, which again will just make everything else easier when it comes to dealing with vehicles. So, 5% battery. We know that that does not last very long at all. It's going to take a week until it is at full. <laughs> so it's it's a considerable amount. We could try and see if we could get it just a little bit further. Uh, we don't want to be waiting around too long for Elliot, so let's let him get a little bit closer. We will jump in here, we will start the vehicle up, and oh yeah, wow. <laughs> the amount of charge it takes to actually start this thing up is, uh, it's considerable. Um, yep. <laughs> That's it. That's that's all that we got. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll just we'll leave that be for now. And Elliot, keep up. Let's get back home. And we are back. And we should have everything we need uh, to get all the stuff together just down here. So let's just have a look before we turn any light on. Makeshift Arc Welder. Okay, so we have the skill. We don't quite have the practical skill to do it, so there is a chance. It's a very small chance of a catastrophic failure though. So, do we want to risk it? Or do we want to try and get our electronic skill just a little bit higher? I don't think we can practice electronics. No, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, you know what? I guess we kind of can. We can practice soldering, which will actually increase our skill to two. We need two electronic scrap to be able to do that though. We've got more than enough solder and copper wire for us to do this and charge in our portable soldering iron. I think we go for that. Um, so we are going to need a little bit of light. So our cell phone, we will ignite. And then we, we just need to take apart one other thing that we've got until we get uh, electronic scrap. Sp so spare parts are the best place to start. It would take us an hour to take apart the sensor array. And I, I do believe the amplifier circuits were needed for the welder. No, they're not. Okay, so we can take those apart then. So let's just go for the amps because, yeah, it's only four minutes and we get three electronic scrap that way. So now, um, how is our pain killing doing? It's not good. We don't have any kind of pain killing going on at the moment. So we'll take some painkillers, taking some aspirin, and let's just go and put that telescoping umbrella away for now. There we go. And there we are. Electronic soldering. It's going to take us an hour and one minute for us to try this. Oh, <laughs> and immediately we get up to two. So yeah, we will stop practicing. We must have been much closer than I actually thought. So now, going off of that, if we go back to welder, we have the primary skill necessary. We're missing the proficiencies, so the minor failure chance is down to 38% now, which is much, much better. 
Elliot may be able to assist us uh, if we were to do a batch creation, but we just need the one welder. So let's begin. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Elliot, I think, is super, super tired at the moment. That's understandable. We got our electronic skill up to three while we were creating that, but we now actually have a makeshift welder. So having a look at that. Okay, we can't reload it. Hmm. You know what? I don't know whether or not this can actually be battery powered. Just looking at it here, uh, it can be plugged into vehicle controls or an appliance. Uh, but we don't seem to have the ability to be able to reload it. It does use charges, but it uses charges from something else. So where in the past we would have a battery pack that we could attach to this. And there may be modifications that we can do to it to allow us to do that. But it seems like we still want to have some kind of generator here that is going to be generating power for us. And to a degree, we have that. Or we can have that. Solar panels are the easiest way for us to do that. And having batteries rigged up to them that is the easiest power solution for us at this stage. And we know from the vehicle that we have everything that we need to be able to attach solar panels to a rig and get it set up. So then, this makes me believe that we are just going to need to try and go and find some more solar panels. Oh, and just while we're here, um, <laughs> we have our light survivor gloves in our inventory at the moment. We can turn them into fingerless light survivor gloves very easily. I think we're going to do that now. Uh, before we do that though, Elliot, let's get him over here towards the couch. Because honestly, he can he can pretty much comfortably sleep anywhere. Uh, we will start sleeping and then we'll just stop. We'll just say, uh, get up. And now Elliot is fast asleep. Good. Good for him. That means that we can kind of carry on now. So lighting up our cell phone. Let's have a look at fingerless again. And it's going to take us half an hour to just chop the fingers off of that. So theoretically, that should still allow our claws to work with those. We will see whether or not that is the case. Um, I think maybe. Ah, wearing this outside your claws. So the claws might still be giving us an issue there. Yeah, we can't put it under the integrated armor. It's not encumbering us too much. It's a bit of extra protection, which I definitely want. Five encumbrance is not all that bad. Or I guess seven in total. It's not as bad as it possibly could be. With how often Dusk is in melee and how often she is hitting things with her hands, I think having that little bit of extra protection on them will make all the difference. I think I would also like us to chuck on some bandages, even if it is just the makeshift ones that we've got, so that we can make sure that our limbs start to heal over time. And we'll just do an adhesive bandage on our right leg here. We should still have a significant amount of antiseptic just in general, or at the very least the wipes, right? Yes. Oh, so many. Let's just go and apply them to everything. Okay. All right, I'm feeling pretty happy about that. So let's turn that light off. We're also going to put our pack back into our lifting field. And I think we're gonna be heading outside. Has the sun set? Not fully just yet. So we could take the time here just to kind of sit and read. Uh, let's just go and move this chair over here for now. And uh, let's flick through our e-ink tablet pc just for a moment or two let's go and read some of those stored books and you know i think it might be time for us to start to try and improve our social skills just that little bit higher so let's flick through and it really didn't take long for that light to vanish there let's take this chair chuck it back over there close that door behind us take in that sweet night breeze it's light and it's warm it's nice. We don't know what the actual temperature is, but it's still summer, so I think we're looking pretty good in terms of temperature. Now, solar panels. There are many roofs in Epping, so there's still a, a fair possibility that we're going to be able to find solar panels on roofs up here, and it also makes it just so much easier for us to take them. Uh, now, we do have our wheelbarrow that is over here. I think it's probably worth us going and grabbing that and bringing it up towards Epping so that we can just start to try and take what we can from the town there so dusk let's turn on safe mode and let's get a wandering and that was super easy not a single soul was found along the way now from this position here um we are going to make our way up and i think maybe towards 
the town hall first. I. I don't know whether or not we actually had any solar panels on top of there. If I had to take a wild guess, I would say it's probably more than likely going to be on on the rooftops of things like the electronics store and stuff like that. Not as common on personal homes. Let's see if the sports car charged up anymore. Oh, it doesn't look like it did. 0% battery. It didn't have a lot of time to get that extra charge, unfortunately, for it. Ooh, do we have much still on this vehicle no it's very destroyed just thinking that we might be able to take a few things i mean there are some things in there but they are very very damaged what do we have here first of all so it's the clothing store and the pavilion okay the pavilion's not going to have anything for us the clothing store is a maybe so we could go clambering on top of that generally i think if they have staircases the chances of there being something up there is probably higher because you'd want to at least have an access path to be able to reach those points so we should be able to fight with our hands free now so we are going to go back to tai chi and we will try and take down this enemy here let them stumble towards us in the dark they don't have anything for us that's fine let's get that safe mode turned back on and could that be a staircase here leading up towards the top the building here is a hardware store so yeah maybe let's start to make our way in towards it this is where we actually got the wheelbarrow from in the first place there is a very damaged carbine that's here okay let's see what we got going on we'll release that for now did we have something in here nope we just did not go inside and we didn't find anything down there okay so if we were to try and clamber up onto the roof one of the easiest ways to do that would be using the chain link fence ideally we don't do that right now if we can avoid it also i would like to avoid the warehouse spider where possible so um hmm let's see all right so you're going to charge towards us and now we are going to fling you back hurtling you into the display rack behind and we're going to do the same thing again and it's still not damaged enough yet but it should be soon so let's just kind of dance around it a little bit more to the side slam you back into that it's gone to tracking now so it is afraid it doesn't want to die it's not a merciless man hunting thing it's a creature that has intelligence and it realizes that uh it's probably lost this fight so pizza parlor electronic store we're going to head across the road towards them now and we'll do so cautiously because we still haven't actually seen this little area around here looks like there's a kid's playground around the back of the pizza parlor and we might actually be able to get some supplies from in here as well is this considered a part of it it is okay so what have we got going on here a little bit of an arcade some glass bottles and it's pretty barren so far oh okay lots of flour lots of seasoning we're gonna take these things we got the wheelbarrow here with us right now so we might as well make the most of it so let's go transfer most of everything we don't want to take the plastic bags because there's no real reason for us to do so but we've got some more canned tomato here wonderful lots of yeast and seasoning and everything else like that we'll be making pizzas before long and oh yes don't worry i haven't forgotten about elliot's uh cooking project that he has going on at the moment uh what is that story that's a messenger bag i'm pretty sure yeah i i thought i saw that a dinosaur suit a full body costume in the form of the anthropomorphic dinosaur it's quite encumbering and has little storage but it's very warm so this is a good option early on if you don't have anything to sleep with or sleep in um surprisingly enough kind of useful um let's just go and pry this open okay <laughs> it's just it's completely open uh right weird weird that it would be locked um this is probably a utility closet if i had to take a guess ah excellent and we do have a way on top of the roof so let's close that door behind us um nothing is in that tank there and clambering up on top let's see what we've got going on okay so there's an antenna up here a satellite dish as well and a water heater that doesn't actually have any water in it currently there is a talking doll that's just hanging up here a cooling unit as well kind of thing that we might want to come back for but the cooling units seem to be a lot more common um so i wonder if from here if we were to use our light if we could see we can see a little bit over towards the other side and we can just clamber on top of that so that's good to know 
I think that's what we're going to try and go for next. So back down inside we go for now. We did make a little bit of light there, so if there are things around, they would have started to make their way on over towards us. Okay, so, oh, here it is. Right, so we'll leave the wheelbarrow behind. And let's just use our light here. We might as well. Looks like there might have been a nest over towards the southeast. Um, okay, not seeing any panels there yet. Oh, of course, those were the damaged ones that are left on that vehicle down there. Okay, all right, light off again for now. And we've peered into this, right? But we haven't actually gotten inside of it. Now, I'm tempted just to try and see if we can pick it. Um, it may set off an alarm, but I don't think there's that many things around still. So let's give it a shot. Okay, we damaged it, but we got our device skill back up to three again. And at least each time we try one of these attempts, it's not actually taking that much time. But unfortunately, it is damaging our lockpicks. And now it's completely, completely screwed. All right, so let's have our smoked meat as a little bit of a snack. And then we need to try and see if we can bash this thing down. We may actually stand a better chance of knocking out the window bars, but let's go get our strength going first of all, pumping ourselves up to 37 strength, and let's see. Don't seem to be damaging the door. Okay, and checking the window. We also don't seem to be damaging that just yet. So we do need to still have something in our hands here. And unfortunately we don't have the mace with us. We'll try the crowbar for now. And there we go, okay. That seems to do the trick. I think the difference is going for the forced unarmed option as well. Oh, okay, that took way longer than I thought it was going to. We'll stop concentrating on that. <laughs> Let's put that crowbar back away for a moment here. Okay, and nothing. Nothing, nothing in there? There's nothing in there. Okay, <laughs> well, now we know. That's, that's the main thing. Uh, we could crack our way in here, see if there's anything else in the office. I think it's probably worth us doing. And we're not seeing anything. The electronics store is completely empty of anything of value. Okay, that's perfectly fine. We're definitely going to mark both of those as fully explored now. Uh, so we do have some homes that are around here still. And what is this? That's, oh, it's a pawn shop. Okay, so there is a possibility here that we could still have something. So we'll clamber on top. We'll turn on our light, and we'll see if we get lucky. Unfortunately, not here. So the second that you start looking for it, that's that's when you can't find them. Now, thinking about it, the evac shelter should really have some solar panels on top. So we could make a little bit of a journey up towards that to see. Because I think the possibility of there being something up there is pretty high. Um, obviously, we will be going a little bit into the unknown. I don't know if we've... Yeah, I don't think we've actually walked along this road before. So we're going to do so cautiously, keeping our ears out and also making sure that safe mode is turned on. But hey, yeah, no, not a problem at all. And just like that, we have made it to the evac shelter. The computer is still powered. Both computers are still powered. So I feel like things are looking positive for us. Let's go and pry that open. We'll clamber on top here. Damn, that's a lot of clean water. Let's just go and drink all of that until we're no longer thirsty. And I just realized we were dumping clean water into it. So let's just go and pour that back into our pack and actually have a drink this time. Yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Slaked and satisfied. Okay, and there we have it. A solar panel and a... Oh, damn. Okay, that's a fair amount of rum. Uh, yeah, let's go and put that into our backpack, huh? Rum? Okay, excellent. Now... You, mounted solar panel. Uh, we don't want to connect it to the grid, no. We want to deconstruct it, but we don't want to take it apart entirely. Sure, this is the right way to do it, yeah? Yes, it is, okay, great. Solar panel array, wonderful. Uh, so that's gonna be quite heavy for us to just carry, so we're gonna haul it along the ground for now. Take that downstairs and see if we can fit that into our wheelbarrow, and we can. Wonderful. There isn't too much um, volume left. It looks like one solar panel is going to take up most of the space. So I think we're just going to have to roll with that for now. We do, however, still need one more thing. We are going to need a battery to be able to actually uh, store 
the solar power. So where are we going to find a battery that's going to be good enough? Uh, so we have seen some around. If we head back down to the electric vehicle that we were originally taking apart, there may be some batteries in there that are still kind of good enough but aren't fully draining. Um, or we might get lucky with another vehicle that's around here. Who, who knows? I will check where we can. So first of all, we have this vehicle here. Yeah, no, they're, they're completely trashed. So that vehicle is not an option for us. We're actually just gonna turn on our light here because that's gonna help us see just that little bit further through the fog. Not as far as I would like, but at least a little bit further. And I'm just gonna do a quick lap of the town. Well, hello, skeletal zombie. You've come out to play. Let's make sure that we uh, try and knock you back here if we can. We didn't need to in the end. Let's put that safe mode back on. Okay, we do have some vehicles just up over this way here, but I don't think we've spent too much time up that way. So let's just turn the light off to be safe and get closer. Check this thing out. So it does have a car battery uh, from what we can see on the side on the middle panel here, and it's in good condition as well. Here it is. Okay, so it's not massive, but it is still something. 40 seconds for us to take that apart. Uh, but we do need to have a little bit of light, so I think we'll just go for the cell phone. It's enough to see by. Let's try that again. Cell phone. There we are. And let's remove that there. Excellent, Dusk. There we go. So, let's see. We can just fit that in there. We've got like two liters of volume left at this stage. We can still carry a battery though, so I am going to check the vehicle that's up here as well, just to see if we can get lucky. So, cube van, what do you got? You've also got a car battery that is totally good. So we could look at taking a engine, an alternator, and then finding some fuel to get it going. So the i4 engine here, it's a gasoline engine. If we siphon gas from cars, we can get power that way as well. Um, so we need to have enough strength to be able to do this. Uh, well, we can do that. We actually have our ability specifically to do this as well. So first of all, let's get that battery out. Uh, we are going to have to get that cell phone light on again. I love the idea of this cube van just being lifted up by Dusk's telekinesis, uh, which we're definitely going to do in a moment here. So the alternator, that is also going to come off. And then we're going to go and activate, let's see, obviously our strength would help us here, but we also have lift vehicle uh 10 percent chance of failure but there we go we've got that to work so theoretically now we should just be able to haul that uh <laughs> haul the engine out of it and yeah we can it'll take us half an hour for us to do it we can haul this engine out of here we are also going to want to try and bring the vehicle tanks with us as well to be able to store petrol to be able to make this engine work for us let's see okay we <laughs> we got it done Okay, so vehicle tank number one. We probably only need one tank if I'm being realistic here. The tank's not going to weigh too much though. We could take another potentially. I guess while we're here, let's, oh God. Christ, oh my God, my heart. Okay, well, yeah, I think something saw us maybe. Uh, yeah, hi, hi. I appreciate you waiting for us to finish thing. Let's go and open the door and invite this, uh, this fellow to come and play. Hi, and let's also go back to Tai Chi. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Doing work there, Dusk. Uh, did they have anything for us? They had a cash card? Sure. Uh, we've got a lot. We've got a lot right now in the way of cash card goodness. Uh, but we've also got a lot on the ground here as well. Let's just see what we're looking at. So, 236 liters of volume, 150 kgs worth of stuff. That is going to take us a while to move because we're just literally picking it up, moving it to one square, going back and getting the rest of the stuff and just doing that bit by bit, dragging it ever so slowly back, which is obviously a very, very slow process, but it will get everything we need back home. We are currently tired. I feel like we're probably going to be more tired by the time we're done here. But hey, look at that. Our limbs have been recovering. Dusk actually has what she needs right now. We're going to head back home and, uh, well, tomorrow we're going to be able to work on getting a power system up and running. 
Well, I say tomorrow, it is already tomorrow, and no doubt it's gonna be even later by the time that we eventually make it back home. I mean, all things considered, that didn't take anywhere near as long as I was expecting it to. Okay, so from here, how do we wanna try and get this to work? Honestly, I think if we try and set it up kind of over this side, that would probably be the best place for us to do it, because then we can kind of connect things up through one of the windows here easy enough. But here's the thing, we are going to need some kind of a vehicle frame to mount everything onto. Uh, we don't have that right now. We do have a kind of semi-wrecked vehicle right next to us up here though, so we might still have some frames that we could potentially take some things off of. Ooh, those frames are not in good condition. So we would ha probably have a better chance with the vehicle down there. The only reason why I'm thinking about trying to get it set up now is because if we go to sleep now and sleep through most of the day, then that's charge time that we're missing out on. So I think I would like to still just have a look down here and just see what we can do. I do think we'll probably need to still have a hacksaw, which we don't have yet. So yeah, what, what are we going to need here? Metal soaring. Yeah, so unfortunately for us to get a vehicle frame off of here, that's what we're going to need. So we could also have a look at making a frame another way. And I also just want to double check that we don't have access to any frames right now. We don't, we don't, That that is fine. Okay, so let's just close this over for a moment. So if we were to try and make a frame, just a basic wooden frame would probably be the easiest thing for us to do. Let's activate that cell phone. Let's also eat some of the smoked meat that we've got. There we go, nice and full. And let's have a look at frame. So a wooden frame, we just need to have some more planks. Right now, we've only got one plank. We can get far more planks. The easiest way for us to get those planks is by taking stuff apart. We do still have those bookshelves down here that we aren't really using. I'm fine with us taking apart furniture in here if it is going to have a good use. And I do think that that's a, a good way to use these things here. So let's go and deconstruct that. That's given us 12 planks to work with, a wooden panel as well. So. I like that. We'll just leave all the wood things there for now. And okay, so we could go for a foldable frame and all that jazz, but wooden frame, half an hour for us to make it nice and easy. Let's go do it. And there we have it. We got ourselves a wooden frame, which we're going to wield and we're going to take that outside. Keeping our light turned on for now. So from this position here, we'll start vehicle construction, which only takes 10 minutes for us to do. And we're gonna call this Genie. Uh, for Jenny, because it's going to be a generator. It makes sense, don't worry. And now, installing onto here, we can install the engine. Nice, we can install our binoculars onto there as well, interestingly enough. No, but what we want to get on there is the car battery, and then we also want to get the solar panel on there as well. So for us to be able to install that, we need a solar panel. And what we have is a solar panel array, right? Yeah, okay, interesting. So can we just plug the array into things then? Is that something that we can do? Let's wield it for the moment and have a look at it. A collection of four solar panels ready to get to work converting solar radiation into electric power. Install them to use them in a static power grid. So we still need to install them. Cannot activate them. Could use it to install as an appliance solar panel. Oh, oh, okay. Place solar panel just like so. Yep, okay. We've got it put in place. Oh, so that's set up as a vehicle now. A vehicle of its own. Right. Okay, so on that then, it's set up as an appliance. Okay. Has no connection to a battery yet, but we will get it connected to a battery. So over here, on this wooden frame, we're now going to put the car batteries on there. And we should, I hope, be able to put both of them on there. Let's see. Yep, looks like we can. Oh no. Car battery is already installed there. Okay, so we can only do the one. That's that's fine. So we have a battery on that now. Let's see if we can plug the appliance into here. Installed a car battery into the Genie. Never mind. Okay, we don't seem to be able to plug it specifically into that battery the way that I've got it set up at the moment. Well, let's just see if we can move this. Nope, we can't. Okay. <laughs> You know what, we're going to take down the appliance for a moment and we're going to try and install it over here. Or rather, let's drag this, drag the battery over and we'll install the 
solar panel just to the side there. I was hoping just having it next to it would be able to hook it up. We may just need to get an extension cable to be able to have them be attached to one another. So heading back inside, let's see what we got. Okay, we've got a jumper cable. I swear that we had access to an extension cable at some point. I don't think the jumper cable is going to do what we want it to in this scenario. But I'm going to try it just in case. Because sometimes they are considered to be vehicles. Okay, we've attached it to one and attached it to there. Okay, you connect the Jenny and the solar panel with the jumper cable. Okay, I think that this is hooked up now. Hot damn. Okay, that's good. So we may have charge actually going to that battery during the day when there is sun onto it. We also do have a heavy battery down here, a high capacity heavy battery, which is uh, good to keep in mind. Okay, let's turn this damn light off. I feel like we've made some progress there. Damn, we have been healing fast as well. Our right arm is still bandaged slightly, so that should be completely healed by the time that we wake up. We are going to have to go to sleep, I, th I believe. And I'm also intrigued with how we can get the power system to connect with the existing one in the home here, if we can get that to work. Yeah, okay. Well, Elliot is going to be staying on the ground floor here, I think, for tonight. Dusk is going to be making her way upstairs, seeing Caterpillar. Caterpillar, there you are. Let's have a little play for a few minutes here, and we'll see how long it takes us to get to sleep tonight. We'll just double check our vitamin intake before we do. Yeah, we need some more calcium and some more iron. So let's just go for a multivitamin, I think. We'll go for the gummy, and it looks like we're probably going to have to try and top off some of the calcium. I can't see our vitamin C at the moment, but it should be pretty good in general, so I'm not that concerned. We've only spent 900 calories today. We've consumed 2,000. We should be all right. Let's... Lay our head down, Dusk, and try and get some sleep. Well, good morning. Dusk is feeling great as she awakens. She does still feel like she needs to be consuming more calories, and she also wakes up to Elliot standing in the doorway here. I don't think there's been any major changes to Elliot overnight, but I think we'll still have a look just in case. I'm not seeing anything here. No. And interestingly enough, the effects that he has on the side here, he's no longer changing, and I don't know if that's just because we aren't set to Elliot at the moment, but the Taranid mutagen didn't have the effect I think that it was meant to. Regardless, he seems to be feeling pretty good about life right now. Dusk is going to have her breakfast of smoked meat and water. I think eventually we will be uh, living better, but this will just have to continue to do for now. And Elliot, we want to make sure that we go and check on your little project outside. It is the late afternoon at the moment. Well, not late. It's it's 3.40 at the moment. It's late enough that Dusk is still going to need to use an umbrella. Let's get that popped out and stick our head outside. Okay, so before we go and check on Elliot's meat project, let's see here. Okay, yeah, look at that flow. Grid battery power flow, 45.2 watts. So looking at this here, the battery is 62% charged right now, which great, fantastic. It actually is working. So it'd be very easy for us to make another wooden frame here and put another car battery down. Um, so I think what we want to try and do is expose the cabling in the walls here. It'd probably be easiest for us to do this one here, I think. And then we could maybe even connect the fridge up towards it. Um, we probably will need more cables to connect them. Uh, maybe we could just kind of connect them through the walls. I'm not 100% yet. I'm still learning exactly how that works. Uh, but we're going to be able to learn that together through trial and error. So, checking in on the smoker here. Remove food from the smoking rack. Smoked sucker. 39 units of smoked sucker. Oh, and there's a lot of rotten fat up there. A lot of bone as well. <laughs> so much bone. Okay, so all of that smoked sucker, we are going to trade to Elliot. I can always imagine Dusk being surprised to see something had been smoking in there, and Elliot would want to lay claim to that, saying that it's probably just not to Dusk's taste. I don't think he's quite in the trick my sister to eat human meat uh, phase yet. Oh, we may actually have to pick that up first. All right, here's your smoked sucker. I'm sure he's going to enjoy that. Yeah, thanks for closing that up there, bud. Now, 
Okay, so we've got a multi-tool, so we should be able to do this. Let's have a look here. Multi-tool, okay, activate it. No. Construction, let's just check there. Should be expose wires. No. Okay, not an option there either. Oh, also, oh, here it is. Reveal wall wiring, so it has changed names. Okay, but also place car battery. Yeah, we don't need to make a whole ass frame for it to work, we can, we can just place the batteries next to it. Which does make sense, it does make sense. So I think what I'm gonna do is reclaim this here. Um, yeah. So let's examine the vehicle. We will go and take the battery off, we will take the jumper cable off, and then remove the wooden frame, which will destroy the vehicle. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now, back into the construction menu here, place car battery, we'll go and place that just to the side here, uh, and then we'll probably just put them in sequence next to each other place car battery. Uh, so we will need to put the jumper leads between them, but I think we may be able to kind of use it multiple times, potentially. Disconnect cables. Oh, so it might actually still be plugged in. I mean, this th these are all getting flow right now, just being next to each other. So maybe that's enough. Okay, so now having a look at this, reveal wall wiring. So if we do that here, okay. So theoretically then we should be able to connect from that to here from this or what you say is merge power grids and we merge up to here boom that's that's done so theoretically that is working then in in, in theory <laughs> yep okay looking at it we have the charge that's in the batteries at the moment 31 percent okay um can i hide that now no i guess maybe if you use reveal in the same spot twice Let's see. Oh, we can't. Okay. Well, popping back inside then, the fridge that we have in here, the refrigerator, um, we should be able to get that to connect up to here. And then we'd have a freaking working fridge, which that would be very nice. It would stop things from spoiling as fast. A freezer would be the ideal, really, but a fridge is going to be using less power in general, I think. So this is... Yeah, it's not connected to a grid at the moment. Connect disconnected refrigerator to the grid. Yes. Okay, is it now connected to the grid? Theoretically, appliance has no connection to a battery yet. So I think if it was down here, like right next to where this is, I think that that would work out for us. So we could always just try and swap the positions. So to make this easier, Elliot, let's just get you to stay here for now. Guard this position, please. We'll also just go and move some of these other bits and pieces out the way. And we're gonna need strength to be able to do this. Enhanced strength, let's go and grab this fridge. We're hauling it out the way there, and all of the food just stayed kind of in the same spot. So let's just go and move all of that just to the north now. Yeah, like so. And then we're going to go and grab this and shuffle it on over there. Uh, and then I'm going to have to make sure that we kind of just swap where things were being kept. Yeah, let's see. Okay, start pushing you down there. You've still got a lot of food in you, right? Excellent. Okay, I'm not sure where all the drinks went. I might have accidentally put them back into here, potentially. Uh, so let's see. No connection. Plug in appliance. I think we should be able to do that if we just do like this to there. No connection to a battery. Really? Let's just give it a second here. Okay. Interesting. Plug in appliance. There. Okay, now it's working. I must have just mispressed that. It's working. It's bloody working. So if we turn on the fridge now. Okay. It's using 30 watts. So we're still keeping 9 watts, even with the refrigerator running at the moment. So that's just from that one solar panel array. If we can find another one of those, put that in sequence, that's going to be great. If we can get the engine working, that's going to be even better. If we can find some gasoline, fuel that up, I feel like that will be able to output a fair amount of power for us. So before I forget, I'm just going to have to have a look and see what we're storing down here. It's a lot of miscellaneous things. We're just going to go and move that over to this new position. So the bionics, that's also going to move. And we're going to have to just make sure that we move food over as well. Okay, I think that that is looking all good. We'll save those changes. We've got a freaking working fridge. Okay, so now what I would like to have in here is a light. I don't think we have had... Oh, there is a lamp. Okay, there are some lamps in here. So let's have a look at grabbing you, lamp, uh, if we can. Grab that standing lamp and let's get that. Oh, can we not move you through this here? Okay, we might need to take it down potentially. I mean, yeah, we can place a standing lamp. So let's, hmm, take.
take down appliance. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm kind of annoyed that we <laughs> that we completely took apart the fridge. Oh no, sorry, the fridge, the oven, because uh, yeah, we could have the oven connected back up here as well. Okay, so where do we want this lamp to go then? I I don't think that we need to have. Um, well, surely if it's even just in the corner here, we should still be able to get that to connect up okay, right? I just don't want it to be in the way so much. But we will need some light, I think, to try and set this up here. Place standing lamp. Let's place it there for now. Okay, turn our light back off again. Okay, so lamp. Let's have a look and see if we can get you connected up. So what we should be able to do, plug an appliance. Um, so it's just going to have to be something that's adjacent to it. So what we could do, theoretically, is if we expose the wall wiring all the way along here, then we should be able to connect it up just fine. Uh, we could also just move where this garbage bin is and have that next to the wall, which I think would probably be better in the long run. So, yeah, I think we're probably going to go for that. Okay, that's the new trash bin spot. Okay, so I am going to head back outside again for just a moment here. And let's expose that wire here, or reveal it, rather. And it looks like that that is already connected up totally fine. Wicked. And now heading back inside. It's already got flow. It's already working, I, I believe. Okay, so how much do you consume? 10 watts. Okay, so unfortunately, that puts us over our limit. But man, that's, that's a lot of light. Probably more than we need, realistically. But it means that we can craft any time of the day. Uh, realistically, the most simple option would just be taking the boards off of the windows here and letting light come in naturally during the day. Because that way we're then not consuming power for no reason. I, I honestly think that's the, that's the simplest thing for us to do here. So we're going to use our hammer and we are... Okay, we did pry the boards there, but we broke the freaking window. Um, either that or the window was already broken to begin with, which I don't think that that was the case. That is so frustrating. I mean, we could try again. We could try again over here. I'm not, I'm not that keen on that idea. Really, I just want to go and board this up right away. Board up the damn window, yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's so frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna try here. Same deal. So, I, I feel like it must have been smashed before. Maybe, maybe. But regardless, it's boarded back up again. Ah, oh dear. You know, I don't think it was. We might have just been unlucky. I guess the thing is, right now, we don't necessarily need to have the fridge on. So let's just go turn that off for now. That way we can make sure that we are getting more charge in those batteries for the time being. I do wonder if we would be able to connect up that heavy battery into that sequence there as well. We may be able to do that. That could be worthwhile. Let's just go drag that thing outside for now and see if that's something that we can do. Okay, so it looks like we can just do storage batteries and like a car battery and then a battery charger. Okay, that is good to know. I suppose we could just quickly go and check out that other vehicle real quick. I also just realized how, how messed up this wheelbarrow is. It's very damaged. Uh, and everything that's in there currently, we want to just drop off by the front door. All of that stuff can just go there for now. Let's just pay a quick visit to the vehicle over here. Okay, so this coupe also has a battery that can totally just pop on out of it. So, let's get that thing removed. You know what, I think we will spend some time just removing some vehicle glass here. Because we could use that glass to fill in our windows. <laughs> So let's get that transferred into the wheelbarrow for now. I don't think there's anything else that we want to take from here right this second. Yeah, no, we're good. Um, do we have a rubber hose on us right now though? I do believe we probably have one at home. If we don't, we know that there's a hose there as we will need a hose to be able to siphon fuel. Okay, so time to get another battery in sequence and probably just gonna continue down along the wall here. Place car battery, yes please, right there, thank you. And it's already connected, fantastic. So the onboard battery power goes all the way up to 9,000. Now, yes, the sheets of glass, we're gonna bring them in with everything else. So let's release the vehicle there, start hauling these things inside. Okay, we will stop hauling. Um, so we're gonna take these down again. Oh, we have a small storage battery? Interesting. Um, I don't know where that is right now. It's amongst everything here. I will try and seek that out in a little bit. But for the moment, uh, we just need our hammer. Let's go take that off and let's see what we need for our window to work here. Build single 
Glazed glass window. Okay, right there, thank you. That's taken us a while to put in place there, <laughs> but we got it done. Yay, fantastic. So, free light during the day. And there is a possibility that we can be seen from the road by something else passing by out there. But honestly, I like that. I like having an early warning system and not having to rely on security cameras to do that. I think that is going to help us out more going forwards in the future. Now it is the evening and we have a little bit of time left today. So I think that we're going to want to go out again and we're not going to go too far. The radio tower is what we're going to go for next. Elliot, you've been very patient just waiting around today. You may get some action yet, my brother. Okay, so back outside, let's grab that wheelbarrow. Um, how much more charge do we get during the day? We're at 22% at the moment, not bad. Uh, I'll have to remember that we do have that other battery that we can potentially use. Oh, and let's have some more smoked meat and drink some of that nice clean water there, yeah. Now, while we're dragging this, I think we're about the same speed as Elliot, so it does make travel a little bit easier. Okay, so I am hoping that on top of the roof here, we might be able to find some solar panels. Um, so the easiest way for us to do that, let's just go around this way here. Uh, if we clamber on top of this, we should be able to see. Ah, man, nothing. And I don't think that there was anything up top as well. We'll use our proper light as we just do a, a quick climb up. Um, yeah, so cell phone tower stuff and proper fully grown turkeys now look at you all all grown up eh uh yeah no unfortunately nothing that we are going to be able to use there such as life so then the next closest town to us is foxborough and we very well may be able to find some more solar panels there right now they will help us significantly and if we can find vehicles that still have fuel in their tanks we can certainly look at using them too but for now legionnaires that is going to wrap us up for yet another episode and i know it was a pretty chill episode for the most part one in which that we learned a little bit more about how electricity works in this current phase of the game and i think both of the woods are ecstatic to hear that fridge hum and yeah they're not going to have it turned on all the time but it's a great way to keep meat good while you're waiting to try and smoke it. All these little luxuries will help them with their story of survival. And you know, I feel like after a day or two, that solar paneled car should have enough charge for us to get back down here. But we do have to remember that it doesn't have a big storage battery in it right now, and it's most certainly going to need one. We aren't going to have to rely solely on those solar panels though, as we can charge it up by connecting it to our house system. But of course we need to keep in mind, going forwards, we may need another option. Otherwise, Dusk, Elliot, Walter, and Food Person will be having to wait long periods for their vehicle to charge on up. We'll find a way to make it work, don't you worry. With the ingenuity of Dusk and Elliot, they will continue. Now Legionnaires, I'd like to ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. And finally, if you haven't seen it yet, on the main roleplay channel, I've just started a Sunless Sea roleplay, following the tales of Captain Sebastian Sinclair. So if you're interested in narrative experiences and roleplay, please do check it out on Rikon Roleplays. But yes, for now, I have been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.